So here we are, a few short hours away from an exciting night of action-packed fighting, UFC 128, and the fans here outside the Prudential Center are uh, already getting revved up at a tailgate party, and they can't wait for the fights to begin. Yeah, any particular fight you're looking forward to? Jones. Jones. Yeah. yeah. People are definitely more, um, for lack of better terms, reckless. You know, they're more into it. Uh, it's crazy, I mean. So there are several thousand people behind me, as you can see, and many of them have come into the city and been spending their money all day and, and even before today, uh, the week leading up to the UFC card. Uh, now, when you think about what that means for Toronto, an event that's going to be more than three times the size of this one here in Newark, New Jersey, and you can see now why the UFC has been so anxious to get into Ontario and why Ontario was willing to finally lift the ban on MMA last summer. And you, you might try to get to the Toronto show. Oh yeah, we can get tickets, yeah. GSP is one of my favorites too, so I love to see the have you, have you looked into it at all yet? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's Yeah, we're waiting for the price to drop a little and then we're going to buy the tickets. So I'll be inside watching every moment of the action unfold tonight, a night that promises to be electric. I can only imagine what the show next month in Toronto will be like when the UFC comes to town. For the Toronto Sun in Newark, New Jersey, I'm Chris Doucette.